Hello, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon, where we are sentenced to a life as a convict until I get a victory, I guess. Not that I think you'd need to, as far as I can tell, there's nothing... I mean, there might be an achievement or something I haven't checked, but there's no reason to other than just... I want to beat the game with all of the characters, I guess. So, convict it is. Hold on, let me have one sip of my tea before I forget about it and it goes cold over the course of this. Tea, Earl Grey, hot. Not for long. So, also, since last time, I've done a couple things because I was doing a little bit of testing to, uh, I've been noticing, like, the game is very dark, I think. It's like, the contrast is, is extremely high in this game, so everything is, like, very dark when it's dark and bright when it's bright and kind of, like, bloomy and stuff. So I was just playing around with, like, the gamma settings, trying to get it looking, like, a little better, maybe it's slightly washed out, I don't know. I'm gonna try it this way and see how it looks later. So, while testing that, I just did the tutorial again to like test out how things looked and whatever. And there's something I did not realize about the tutorial at all. Something that like you hear one time and I just didn't really register during the tutorial and it would be very helpful to know. So let's do the whole thing again, just so we can uh, See this. Yeah, flip tables. Amazing. Dodging practice. Prepare for a whole lot of bare feet slapping sounds. What's this? Blanks? Oh, cool. Great. Use them. Uh, there we go. Make it through. And... Excellent. Blanks refill every floor, so use them when you need to. I just didn't register that line at all and have just been hoarding them for, like, the entire time. So that was basically it. Just the fact that, like, I think you start with two blanks and it's something where like if you have fewer than two you just always have two on the next floor so there's kind of no reason not to like spend them looking for secret rooms or just when you're about to take a hit like i've been holding on to them for things that i feel i can't deal with where i guess i should just be using them more so that's nice and then also i did look up one thing i was just curious about the whole usable item thing, like how usable items refill, if there's like a difference or whatever, because again, this is something where you get kind of trapped in Binding of Isaac brain, because in there it's like, oh, you clear a room and then it takes up by a certain amount depending on the use item. In here, apparently it's just based on doing damage, which means Convict, the Molotov might actually be like a better starting thing than I've been giving it credit for, because I just keep hoarding it, keep holding onto it for like, oh, the boss or whatever. But you can just, like, start out a fight with it, and then by the time it's done, or by the time you've done, like, another room or two more, you're probably gonna have it again. So, yeah, I guess I should just be more liberal with using the Molotov in, like, against elite enemies or whatever. So, those are the two things to note as we go into more Convict runs. Oops, that's okay. Maybe that's a little bit of a waste. I thought that was my fire key. <laughs> Gotta, like, remember the controls again. I also noticed that we do have the, like, auto-aim, aim assist slider in the options. So if I ever do feel like, no, stop shooting at that thing, I'm trying to aim, like, next to it or whatever, we can try and lower it a little bit and see if that feels better. So we should probably, like, experiment a little bit. Did someone do that? Oh, can you shoot these? Ah, interesting. I thought you had to flip them manually. You can shoot them to, like, drop those as well. We're already learning. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. Didn't see you there. Ah, oh, damn. Just rolled into him. Too bad. That was gonna be so stylish. Whoa. Careful. So yeah, like, oh no, I don't have it now. 
We still need to charge up the Molotov a little bit. But yeah, you can see it like charging as I'm doing damage here. That looks kind of suspicious, but no. Maybe here? No. Chest, should we open it? I guess not. Let's hold off. In this place. Nothing. I wonder if this place can even have secret rooms. Not too sure. Kind of scared of this slime thing. And yeah, okay, the Molotov definitely takes like a while to recharge. So you definitely don't want to like waste it. But I have been holding on to it for too long, I think. Oops. I keep switching weapons instead of reloading. Nice. Ammo. Not that I really need that. Yeah, I can see those being like a bit of a trap where you see them and you tunnel out tunnel vision and just try and get them at all costs and then you end up like taking damage for it when they're probably like not that important really there we go yeah like is that really worth it not really i guess i'll still take it though oh i see now we have the molotov at least if i need it armor. Nice. So yeah, like here, we can do this, I guess. Oh god! Yeah. I, I had never seen that. Didn't realize you could, like, just slide infinitely across them. Nah, let's not. A lot of blanks. T-shirt cannon, I did not like that much. Felt a little meh. Alien sidearm? I don't remember if I had that. Might want to take that, honestly. Like, have I had it? Freeze ray? Oh, I didn't see what that was. Would be kind of nice if there was like a hotkey to, uh... I don't see it. Oh wait, no, that's t-shirt cannon. If there was a hotkey to like, stand in front of something here, open up this thing, and it would just like, take you immediately to the thing that you're looking at, just to see like, what it is, again, like in these. That would be kind of a nice feature, but yeah, let's, let's just buy this. Shield breaker, okay. Whatever that means. Hegemony of Man has fought and won three major wars. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, that would just be, like, useful. Not really a huge deal, but just a nice thing. Try one time? Nope. Okay, let's try it out. See what it does. Ooh, definitely haven't had this one. Reasonable reload as well. Oh, there's the boss. It has like a little bit of AoE by the looks of it. Very- oh, you can charge it, I see. Ooh. So it's like pretty ammo efficient then. Okay. I don't dislike that. That seems nice. 
And like a lot of ammo too. Oh, I see. It takes... Wait, no. Hold on. No, it still only takes one. Okay. I thought it was going to take more ammo when you charge it. Yeah, let's do that. Good. Very nice. Regular shotgun. Is that better than my, like, sawed-off shotgun? I wonder what the difference is. Hmm. So I'll check this before I open something. Let's just try it. Yeah, much better range. Slower projectiles, but like one extra, basically. Let's just like use both, I guess. Why not? Those seem a little better than the sawed off. So I guess we'll open this as well. D pad. We've had that before. Yeah, this one was pretty good. Though just very limited ammo, I feel. You do not get a lot for this one. So let's do like alien gun, I guess, and sawed off, I think. Or uh, well, regular. So yeah, let's start with a uh, Molotov, I guess, right at the start. Oh, okay, you have to throw it from a little further or uh, closer. And he just flies, so he didn't even, like, get hit by it. I guess you have to hit him directly, probably. Oh, you can, like, hit the goblet when he throws it. I should remember to blank if I need it. Like there, just just to be safe. Nice. Very good. Box. Just a box. Okay. The ultimate in stealth technology. Surprise attacks deal additional damage. No one is perceptive enough to see through such an elaborate... Elaborate, elaborate ruse. Hmm. So I'm stealthy now, and I can shoot, but then I lose it for, like, however long. Huh. I think I prefer the Molotov. I don't know, that might be nice. Especially, like, on certain enemies, like, if you just want to sneak up and kill, like, one of those necromancer buffer dudes, or the, like, dog thing that goes invisible, something like that, would probably be quite nice, but... That sounds very situational. I feel like I just want to take this one for now. Let's go back to, like, double shoddy. Why is there something here? Yo. Hello. Burp. Good talk. Cigarettes, double vision, C4. And I can't buy any of them. Damn. I need one more. Aw. Oh, whoops. Uh, I guess, hold on. I don't think these can drop any money, but might as well. Just junk. And I can't sell anything here. So I keep doing that. Trying to open the map with the, like, the back door select button. Yeah, looks like we can't buy anything here, sadly. Snuck another sip of tea in there. Once per floor. Yeah, that is pretty useless when it's... Oh! When you're far away. While this one has more range to it. And a narrower spread. Hmm. 
Oh, crap. Yeah, that was a waste of armor. Why are you... Oh, this guy. Hello? What's this? Ring of Fire Resistance. I mean, that sounds pretty straightforward. I don't feel like fire damage is that big of an issue, though. Wind-up gun. So yeah, like, I guess... If we need to, we should just spend the blank in here if I don't use it up. Just to see if it opens something? So yeah, I have two of them again. Hold on, I want, like, this one. Something here. Ow! What, what happened? What did I just take damage from? Oh, right, they bounce. God damn it. Oh, nice. That was, like, well-aimed. Thank you, me. Oh, careful. Mini boss over there. Sure. Let's do D-pad and alien. And I'll use my Molotov here, I guess. Can I even? Can I reach this guy with a Molotov? Oh, crap. Terrible. Maybe when he was still here, I could have thrown it. Do I have something that makes, like, the first shot or something? What is that? Like, why does... Some of my shots are, like, blue. I'm not sure what's doing that. Yeah, a little sloppy. Almost got the Molotov again. It's not too... Too slow. Nice. This kind of looks a little suspicious. No. And these, I guess it can't be, since they have stuff. Might as well check. This game hurts your hands. I can kind of see why, yeah. It's one of those games where, like, you probably don't want to play it for too long in a row. Also, I just noticed... No, okay, it was just a coincidence that they had the same ammo. I thought they had, like, a shared pool or something. This game makes your hands feel nice. Well, I guess there's... It's different for everyone. There was some game I was playing recently that did make my hands kind of hurt. I don't remember if it was this one. I can't remember if I had issues with this one or not. Aw, too bad they don't take damage from those traps. Oh no, I, I think it was just Celeste when I played Celeste 64, like, towards the end, it was kind of straining. 
and I remembered, like, I love Celeste, but yeah, it, it is definitely, like, kind of rough on the hands to play for a long time. Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna... Oh god, need something else here. Let's use this one. I feel like we just have a lot of ammo for this anyway. I don't need to be ass- oh, getting stuck. Stingy with it. Oops. go. Yeah, I don't think that blank was really needed, but <laughs> I was just kind of panicking. And I guess that's what I'm supposed to use them for. I would like to keep one for a potential, like, shock secret room or something, if I can help it, but I guess I shouldn't think too much about that. Thank you, grenade! Very cool. Alright, let's go here. Yeah, it's a chest. This looks sus, yep. Okay. And we get... We just get the blank back. Thanks, game. Best secret room. Mmm. I don't think I want to munch anything. I kind of like all the guns I have. This one doesn't have much ammo, but they are nice, all of them, so yeah. Not today, Muncher. Oh, and this thing again. Yeah. One day. And that's it. Do I open the chest? Sure. Oh? Is that a tennis ball launcher? Pox cannon. Lousy t-shirt. What? The souped-up t-shirt cannon fires tainted apparel. Enemies defeated after contracting the pox will leave a pool of deadly goop behind. Okay. Sounds okay. Let's try it on the boss, I guess, with this as the sidearm. Oops. This thing again. Oh, it, and it poisons normally as well. Does a lot of damage, actually. What are you doing? This is coming right at me. Ow. God damn. Dude, he's just like going straight towards me. What are you supposed to do when he just randomly decides to hunt you down? Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, this is not going well. No, don't eat him! Ah, oh, crap. He's too slow. Oh boy. Yeah, this guy can be a bit of a problem. I haven't had issues with him until now, but now he's, just, like, kind of insane. Jesus. Oh no, Toby, you got a positive COVID test? Have you even been, like, feeling bad? I haven't heard you mention anything. Well, that sucks. Hopefully it's, like, a light case, I guess. Glass cannon. Not until, like, 6 p.m. today? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Shatters upon taking damage. I'm gonna lose that very, very quickly. I might as well just use it, I guess. And we do have keys, so let's open this. Oh. 
What was this again? Armor every floor. Yeah, that's nice. First time COVID, do you get a badge? Yeah, I also haven't had it yet. Luckily. Thank you. Let's just try it once. You have to charge it, let me see. All right, extremely slow reload. So I guess you're just meant to like shoot it once and then swap off to something else. Let's just have the normal shotgun in this and try it. Ow, what the? Oh, the turret thing. I didn't notice that. Oh my god, this is not good. The convict curse is real. Guess I can just do this. Still reloading. Yeah, this thing is very slow. Oh, come on, it's not that powerful. I mean, I guess it did two shot him, like he was almost dead. Okay, that's pretty nice. Yeah, this glass cannon thing is pretty interesting, because you're like meant to not have it equipped, basically. I guess we could just try the boss. Do I really need to, like, god damn it, I keep pressing that. Do I really need to explore more? I'm almost considering, like, swapping those. Maybe select should be my map button, because I keep. I don't know, you need to hold it, so that would be kind of awkward to hold select. I think I'll just try it like this, since I have this, and we can throw the Molotov as well. Oh, this guy. I don't remember how this guy works. I've only fought him once. What? That doesn't even- oh, I just pressed the wrong button. Should I shoot these or something? Did I swap in time, or is that gone? I don't know what happened. I did swap in time, Jesus. Oh no. Ah, crap, I think I would have done something if I was a little quicker there. Holy shit, that's kind of insane. Oh boy. Oh, boy. Ow. Oh, no, I, I swapped to the wrong gun. I meant to hold it down and swap to the D-pad. I do not have this guy, like, figured out yet. Ow. This is bad. No, didn't work. Yeah, I don't know how to, like, deal with that guy. I don't have any of the patterns, like, figured out yet. Seems kind of insane. But yeah, I also just, like, freaked out, didn't know, like, what weapon I had and fumbled with controls. Oh, well. Let's just do a quick restart. I don't need to, like, go back.
right, not too bad. Oh, I like this thing, but not really enough to buy it, I don't think. It was, like, fine. that kindles blanks huh but it also like breaks doesn't it no increase blank regeneration so it's just like we get three every every floor okay it looks like the type of thing that would break but i guess that's the glass one and maybe here that's not a thing no Some of these rooms seem like they would have, like, two or three waves, but it's just nothing. I mean, it is floor one, I guess. God, I almost dodged into that. In this place... I haven't been here in a while, but I don't think I want to go here. Maybe that's the key to success. Or maybe it's just wasting two keys. What was that glitching up around up here? Was that my, like, Guan stone, I guess? Here's this guy. Can't be a secret room here. Hmm, too bad. I might buy a key. We had one, right? Yeah, okay, that's just the goo on stone. Because we need to do that. What's that? Flame hand. Oh yeah, that one was pretty decent. So yeah, let's do this and then we'll try and blank inside of the shop if I save one. This guy again. Yeah, that doesn't hit at all. Okay. Yeah, specifically that attack where he launches that, like, orb thing. That's the one I just can't dodge, like, consistently and feel like I have to blank this one. Sometimes it's fine, but sometimes it just coincides. What? What happened? How do I take damage? I felt like I dodged that. Okay, that that one definitely not. Too bad. It's like you take damage once and then you just get like you know, hung up on it. it throws you off your groove. Wait. What happened? Didn't I get two keys? Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I see. Which means we could go to the Oubliette if I want to. Why not, I guess? I 
don't feel like this is a good start anyway. What is this? This gun again? Oh yeah, this thing. Isn't that like homing in a way or it bounces? Something like that. It's okay, I remember. Clean hand is pretty good. Yeah, let's just go here and do this. Nothing. Oh, whoops. And yeah, let's try and go here. Because I've only been in here like three times or whatever. Oh, that's just for leaving, yeah. Yeah, like, so far I don't really know what the point of this place is. Why you would choose to go in here. Damn it. Like maybe I, oh yeah we can reload it I was gonna say I should save some of my flame hand because that's kind of my best gun right now I feel but never mind I'll just use it what's going on up there this guy I don't know what that was about. Hmm, should have blanked there. I guess using these and just swapping off is not really that great, since the reload is so quick, you kind of want to fire off, like, a few of them. Good old AK. I think I'll hold off. We need keys here. What is that symbol again? I don't know if I've seen that. I think I have, but I don't remember. I always like panic with these spike floor things. Kinda of surprised I didn't take damage there before I blinked. Feel like I was inside of that bullet. More? Jesus. Yeah, let's just camp out here.
more ammo? Probably just the flame hand again. Yeah. Nice. This thing just feels very weak. Like, I guess its strength is in just bouncing around and, like, hitting things passively, so to speak. But yeah, it's certainly pretty weak. Nice. Oh, all ammo, sure. Tons of ammo for guns that I don't really need ammo on. Don't want to do anything with this. Not that I can. I guess here. Can that break the chest? If it, like, bounces on it, maybe. Like, this is a good room for this. Just shoot it out there and just let it clean up. Yeah. More- Jesus! Stop it with the ammo! Oh, whoops. That was very bad. So can I do like this to check? No, check like both sides for secret walls. Muncher. I don't think I have guns to munch, no. We're very gun poor right now. That uh, could be something here. No. Nope. Yeah, let's just use this a little bit. This is a secret wall. There we go, yeah. Okay. Pretty useless, but still. Yeah, I guess we haven't seen secret walls be, like, that amazing. They're usually fine. They're usually more worth it than not opening them, but not as useful as you would hope. Should I just break the other one? I guess we'll do the boss first and see if we happen to get, like, two keys. So let's do these, I guess. Mainly flame hand, probably. What is this again? Oh, this thing, yeah. I don't think this was too bad. Lobby Lord. does not burn for very long, so I kind of just want to use the flame hand. Just keep reapplying it. Also, we should Molotov. I don't know if the Molotov, like, does more damage. Like, if you already have them burning with a gun, does the Molotov even do anything? Ow, crap. That was bad. I don't know if it's better to just like, keep applying the the burn with a gun. Yeah, I just gotta watch for these, like, when he tries to lead the target a little bit. Oh, right. Don't waste ammo now. Yeah, Flame Hand is a very nice, consistent weapon. No reload, decent ammo, good damage over time. It's good in, like, many situations. Is this Freeze Ray? Flash Ray. Yeah, this one was, like, fine. 
I think it felt a little weak, but I guess the piercing is the nice part about it. Uh, so let's shoot this around a little bit. See if anything gets, like, opened. Doesn't look like it. No. So, uh, let's go and break the chest, I guess. And we already found... No, I did not find a secret ball. No, I did. Yeah, in here. So, unlikely that there's another one here. Just a bunch of junk. Yeah, I can't do anything here. I mean, can I buy a key? Yeah, let's just buy a key. Old crest? Armor up? Okay. I don't know what that is, exactly. Hmm. Kind of seems like a thing where, like, oh, we want to take it and then somehow show it to someone or take it somewhere without actually getting hurt on the way. Also, my Guon stone is, like, leveled up. What is causing that? The flash ray. Nice. Not entirely sure what that that'll entail. So this is also, like, powered up? Is it something where if you shoot through... Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to. God damn it, this guy is so picky. But, like, if I shoot normally... No, I guess that was just bouncing off the, the traitor. But maybe it's something like that? When you're inside a room with enemies? Or maybe something about blanks, like when you use a blank, it gets more powerful for a little bit. And yeah, it's also very inaccurate, this thing. Like, very inaccurate. Very inaccurate, Jesus. I'm just gonna use this, because I don't feel like it's amazing enough to save, and it is kind of nice for just, like, general rooms, I feel. This is a nice little hole to hide in during this. What do I have as backup? Let's have, like this one, just in case of emergency. Oh, we can sell stuff? I guess I can sell my junk, unless we want to try and keep it. Because we have seen you can get the junk boy, and he gets, like, powered up if you have these. So maybe I want to keep them. I assume you don't get much money for selling them anyway. And I have, like, tons of money and nothing to spend it on right now. Yeah, this is the type of gun that I also think mouse and keyboard would be better for, because, like, it's auto-aiming towards one of them and then tends to miss the other. If I was aiming with mouse and keyboard, I could just, like, shoot straight through... No, I cannot, because it's still, like, terrible aim. Never mind. The spread is, like, making it so that those shots would probably not happen that much. So it's probably fine. Yeah. yeah it's like one in three, maybe. But I guess sometimes they happen.
mini boss, sure. Let's make sure they're set on fire as well. This guy again? So I guess the Molotov won't work on this guy at all. I'm just gonna use Flame Hand for this. What the hell are these things? I don't I don't remember seeing that ever. It sounded like the robot from Grow Home. They're very distracting when you're trying to avoid the shots. Oh dear. Is he tankier than normal or something? There we go. Wait, it does? It does what? What did I say? Ooh, map is nice. And we get a key and a chest to use the key on. Thanks. Science cannon. This one was, like, pretty decent, I think. So... I might do the flash... No, never mind. <laughs> I didn't think I had that little ammo on the lame hand. Oh, sound like the robot from Grow Home, yeah. What was he called again? Bud, I think? B-U-D? Uh, yeah, let's keep using Flash Ray and I guess try this one out. Yeah. I remember this one. It's like not the highest damage, but it is pretty nice. Consistent. Yeah, that's nice. So, did we have any secrets? Is this a secret? No, I think that's just that altar room again. This is a secret room. That seems like a pretty juicy secret room. A lot of health, a free chest, and some ammo refill. So I guess I should kind of spread out my ammo usage. Like, not use this one, just use this one a bit. And Flame Hand, because I'll get a partial refill on everything. How did I stun it? It's something where you like knock them into wall. Oh, more ammo. <laughs> Getting so much ammo in these runs. Well, this run. Does anyone know how much ammo you get from a partial refill? Is it like half or 25% or something? Also, do I have anything else that's like powering up anything else? Just the flash ray? Yeah. Yeah, it's just this room again. Yeah, that, that, that was a direct question, just like how much ammo uh, red ammo thing refills. Yeah, I think I like the science cannon more than I expected. Oh god, I t thought they turned off after you were done. Rip glass goo on stone. Oh, I got stuck in the corner, damn it. Oh boy, that's not good. 50% for current weapon, 25% for rest. Oh, I didn't know it mattered like which one you had equipped. Yeah, let's just open this up. I might save some of it and take this. Oh, I, I guess I... Can you do that in secret rooms? I guess I shouldn't have opened this until I really wanted it. Because now I'm, like, wasting ammo. Yeah, that was a mistake, I guess. Assuming you can't leave these or the rat will take them. What's this? Mega Dowser. A 
soaked enemy can be electrified, a dazed foe can be pushed into the abyss. So basically, this weapon sucks, but can be very good in some situations. Probably. Uh-huh. And we did already get the gold key, right? You can't see that anywhere, can you? Still no keys. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought I already had that. I guess that was the last run or something. And yeah, this also doesn't need to reload. I don't have anything to electrify. And yeah, it seems not very strong, just on its own. So I guess we, we need something else. Now that I have so much water everywhere, I would want to like use something else. But I don't think I have anything that will work on that. No. And if I like flame hand here, that doesn't do anything, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with the science cannon. God damn, more ammo? Fine. And that's that. All right, so let's, yeah, let's use these two. Oh, can't use my Molotov here, I guess. Oh yeah, I can just skip that. Just get rid of these statue things. Yeah, that just vanished. Thought so. But you can still set her on fire. Okay. That's nice. How did I poison her? Ow. I thought I was fine there. Gotta remember to use my blanks as well. Oh, terrible. Just walking into things. And I'm not blanking because I don't feel like I'm gonna get hit. Seems like, oh, this is gonna be easy to dodge. Yeah, that's definitely like one of the easiest bosses in the game, I feel. That one I can like 100% get consistent at. It'll just take a little while. Honey. Potion of Gun Friendship. Temporary plus one. Hmm. That might be more useful than a Molotov. Because you can use that in, like, any situation. That symbol is just the Molotov, right? I think. No keys, though. Hello. It's been quite some time since I've seen anyone down here. Well... Thanks very much for letting me out of this dreary place. Once I get a little bit of my strength back, I should be able to help you out quite a bit. I'm sure I'll be seeing you soon. You are very tall. Oh, I'm not much for big gatherings. I'll stay down here. But we'll see each other from time to time, I think. Yeah. I'm having bad luck with bosses and molotovs, yeah. Just like everyone is hard countering my Molotovs by flying and being in water and shit. Nolotovs? Is that a pun? I'm not sure I get that. <laughs> like, accidental pun. Alright, let's see if we get... Something here. Yeah, but it's not useful. And here. That's fine, I guess. Yeah. This is like a, a mediocre run. I feel like it's pretty okay, but I don't have like anything to just seal the deal. Let's hold off on the science cannons since I don't have too much. Uh, maybe save the 
the flame hand as well. Just these two again, I suppose. I hate getting stuck in corners like that. I feel like they're very sticky, the walls. Like, I try to aim a little diagonally, but I just, like, get stuck on corners oftentimes. Yeah, I guess it's just not the right angle. Like, I just roll straight down instead of slightly to the side. Oh, you mean no, no Lotovs, no Lotovs, <laughs> I said no Molotovs. Oh, hello. Okay, good. Some of these flying around if I can. And try and line these up. Yeah, nice. So it kind of seems like tables and stuff can just block a certain number of shots. I thought it would be based on, like, the strength of it. Like, the snipers would two-shot them or something, but no. They're kind of lasting a while. I think I'm going to use this here. Ow. Should really flame hand here. Whoa, who are you? And there's more. Okay, just that guy. Who are you? Explosive decoy. I guess it, it'll just blow up eventually. I can't detonate it or anything. Yeah, I think I'll keep my potion. Oh, there it goes. Where's the key? Hmm, let's try and vary up the guns. Do I want to try and use this a bit more? Even though I don't have any way to, like, use it well. I mean, I guess we can push things into... Into the abyss. It's like fairly slow, but consistent, I guess. Might as well use it up. Can this even hit walls? Like, I don't know if it would even uncover them. Maybe this is not as bad as I think. I guess it's just those clones are very squishy. I thought it killed these guys, like, very quick. <laughs> I guess that can be kind of fun. What is this? Go up? Oh, hello. Well, great to see you again, adventurer. Having a nice gungeon, getting plenty to eat. I see you've got quite the collection there. But your equipment lacks something. Missing a little gunish sequa. Uh-huh. 
I can help with that. Sometimes a piece of kit doesn't truly shine until it finds the right partner. Let's see. I think I've got the perfect match for you. Are you feeling it? Uh, not right now. Yeah, that was weird that we just saw her, like, right afterwards. Well, got ice in your veins, or what? If it if it's based on, like, the thing I have equipped, then I would definitely want, like, a partner to the flame hand. So let's do this. Let's make a match. Perfect match. That'll really get your gear humming. Uh-huh. Shotgun Cola, speed up. What does that even mean? How is that a perfect match? Highly caffeinate, caffeinated, save the cap. Yeah, it doesn't like synergize with Flame Hand or anything. Or anything I have. Have you met Trork? Nice guy, though a bit lonely. That's a thing for helmets. I guess that's the Orc guy. Well, speed up is always nice. Let's go to the shop. Can I play the arcade machines? No. Also, wait, hold on. Do you have anything else to say? See you next time. What is that? Dragonfire. And badge. These both sound kind of interesting. I don't think I've had either. I'd rather have a, like, passive thing, I think. Let's take that. Oh! Hi, guy. Buy the book. Policeman's badge. They're close to- oh no, they're one day from retirement. Only a few weeks left on the force. Sending my daughter off to college soon. She's a good kid. 30 years on this beat to the day. Never needed to draw my gun before. Only a few weeks left. Oh no. Uh-huh. I guess he's just like... A get down, Mr. President, kind of thing. We'll see. Let's equip something else. I guess this one again. Yeah, are there any sales on tombstones anywhere? Oh, hello. Speaking of Trork, he's right here. Just drove the old girl in here. Double vision drum clip? That sounds like it could be kind of good. Full metal jacket also sounds like it could be good. These are expensive though. I guess this one is like a double double edged sword thing. Like it'll probably do something good, but something bad as well. I'm not sure I want to have like blurry vision for the rest of the run if that's what it does. Maybe we'll save up, get one of these. So yeah, like, what happens if you get drum clip on, like, this thing? If I don't know how that works. Could be interesting if it's, like, a higher magazine size on everything you have, or on just one thing, something like that. Ah, oh, crap. Where were you? You should have helped. There he is. Go get him. Oh, he's just like tanking some damage, I guess. Oh, he did fire once. He's doing a little bit. Okay, what else can I, like, use with this? I guess sawed off shotgun. Oh! Again? Okay. So I guess let's... Let's try- Oh! What? What the hell? Fuck you! No! Oh, that's annoying. I thought it, like, flew out here. What happened? Didn't I shoot the shot out here? How did it get back in and explode here? Oh man. That's really sucky. Yeah, I don't know which 
weapons can even like uncover secret walls. Oh, it was a time chest? Oh. I was like thinking about what I should should put it on or whatever. Okay. I guess we know that now. Nope, come on. I want this and this. Oh, what's this shrine? A shrine to a forgotten bullet who lay down his arms. Like, pacifist thing? Uh, I mean, I guess I can offer... Either just the sawed off, even though I have ammo for it, it's not very good. Yeah, I guess I'll I'll offer this one. At peas, live the gun another day. That's not anything? Is that just like I can revive once or something? Not sure. I guess we'll see. I guess these two are kind of like. Why does it keep going back to the Mega Dowser? I don't understand. This one and this one. Good job, guy. This guy's more useful than I thought, but I wonder if he's like... He's probably got health, and like every time he takes damage, it's ticking down and not replenishing each each room or something, so eventually he'll just die or something, I would imagine. Oh god, I just walked into that. Go get him! Okay, he's doing doing work. Alright, what do we want? Ammo on the most. Probably this thing? So yeah, let's check. Like this thing? 233. This one should get about full, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so it's 50% on the main thing and 25 on the rest, yeah, like you said. I guess we'll just go back to using these then. Like this and flash ray. Why not? Nice. I think I want to open just a... Eh, I guess I do. We don't have anything else to spend keys on. Sure. We just got the key back! Escape rope. Works anywhere. Just like taking you out of the room or something? Yeah. Escape from a sealed room. I don't think I want that. I would rather have this thing. Especially now on the boss. If I just get like... I guess this gun? Probably the best? Or maybe the flame hand? I guess we'll use these two. Wait, it does something with my water gun? Oh, I see. You see the, like, uh, animation there when it, like, upgrades something. Uh-huh. What does that mean? Whoa! Big water! But do I care? Would I rather have big water or would I rather have, like, plus one to guns that are actually useful? I don't know. I guess this might be more interesting to see what it actually does, how much damage it does. If we do these two and just compare the damage, fine. All right, whatever. Oop, wrong button. Let's try it. And let's see if we can buy something as well. I have just enough, I think. So let's like equip this one or something. And try... I don't know, full metal jacket or drum clip? I guess full metal jacket might be more useful, whatever it is. 
automated defenses. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted, but... Ah. Oh, I've had this one. Shit, I should have checked. Well, damn. I mean, I guess that's good. I keep forgetting to use the blanks anyway, so... That'll be nice. Oops. Count how many times I accidentally open the book instead of opening the map. Or drink every time it happens. That'll be fun. Okay, this thing again. Damage is... Ow! What? Oh! Bye! I pressed the wrong button! <laughs> Later! Did not mean to do that. Okay, I meant to press this button. Hi again. Too bad he's like fully healed. Would be nice if it saved how much damage you had done. Okay, and then just check this one. I guess it's about the same, honestly. Where are you? I see, that's where they come from. You can see the, like, face on the bullet that'll spawn one. Oh, just thought of an interesting thing with the escape rope. I wonder if you take damage on a boss and then you escape rope and then try it again, will that count as, like, a chance to perfect it again? Could be kind of interesting. Almost out of ammo here. Oh, careful. Man, these shield things are doing work as well. Blocking so many projectiles for me. Yeah, just got rid of that one. Nice. Was that perfect? I don't think I triggered a blank. Yep, there we go. Nice. Definitely feel a little more confident on that boss now. But I did have, like, good guns as well. And the cop- oh! Cop's a robot now! What the hell happened to him? Oh! Policeman's badge in this one! Oh, that was a lucky synergy. So I guess he will just be tankier or something? Maybe more aggressive as well? Yeah, now I kind of want more ammo for this thing. Proton backpack. We've had that before. That's a solid one. What is happening? I'm just getting all the beam weapons. This is just the beam run. And I don't have anything to... to unlock. Or anything like that. Yeah. Chamber 4. So let's have something else set up here. I guess this one. But we'll use this for a bit. Oh, what? Really? How did I get hit there? Was it the ice thing that, like, did something? Do they shoot out bullets when they, like, hit the wall? Well, at least that's nice, the auto-blanking thing. It's probably better than... Like, you don't want to have defensive things, because, oh, it's better to have offense than defense. But, yeah, some of these are very useful. Ooh, nice, okay. What do we want here? This one, probably, yeah. Let's pick up science cannon. Now I have a lot of ammo for everything. Just use that and the flash ray, I guess. Who? Where? Hello. Didn't see these guys. Yeah, he's kind of going ham now. He's shooting a lot, like, much more rapidly than before. 
Sure. Oh, this thing again. I guess that can't be a secret room, yeah. Uh, let's use that and... Yeah, sure, flash ray, that's fine. Yeah, suddenly he's actually a really good partner. I thought it would just be like a joke thing where, oh, I'm one day from retirement and then he like, he's okay for taking hits or like taking ag aggression, but then he would just die like instantly. Zombie time? Yeah. Get him, partner. Oh. Who? Thank you. Yeah, he's actually very useful now. Science cannon again, again, I guess. And we're just getting so much ammo this run, like more than I ever have, I feel. I don't even know which weapons to use, like, I have a lot of good weapons. And I might as well just, like, waste a bunch, but which one should I use? Oh, I should have reloaded this one, actually. Thinking about it. Yeah, just like these two, I guess. Oh, I thought I rolled that. How did they get frozen? What happened? I didn't see what was behind me. I guess a zombie, probably. There goes all my blanks. Let's uh, swap off that one a little bit and use science cannon, I guess. Oh, damn it. Thought I had a little more time before they hit me. much ammo. Now what? The water gun, I guess? Or this thing? Let's go with water gun and try it out a bit more. Water gun and this thing. Oh, missed. God, the knockback is insane now. It's, it's so crazy. Decent damage, too. No! Oh. Okay, he shot the, the chicken. I thought my friend died. I thought his time was up. Oh. Again! No, I don't want that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll keep the rope. Could be here. Yep. Oh, no blanks. Uh, I can't, like, self-damage anyway, can I? To spend this armor? I don't think so. Yeah. We just need to find a blank or buy one if there's a shop or something. Just having, like, one speed up is really nice.
it's kind of hard to even, like, use this. They get shot around so much that it's hard to aim at them. Yeah. Yeah, taking damage is often better than wasting a blank. It would be nice if it was like, oh, it auto-uses blanks until your last one or something. But it is nice. I think, like, if you have this guy, I think it's definitely worthwhile to get it. What the hell is that? Scope? Smoke bomb? Yeah, we'll take a blank at least. Gun muncher? I don't think I want to munch anything. Maybe this thing? It's like, okay? But everything else I have is, like, really good. This one is fine as well. Decent damage, but just, like, relatively slow. I could munch those two, but I guess let's see what we find in the secret room. Uh, where was that? That was here. Yeah. Just more ammo. God damn it. I guess the uh, water gun, yeah, needs ammo. Oh, well, maybe... Oh, I should have done proton, but... Oh well. It's fine, we'll get more ammo in the next room anyway. Oh, here we go again with this thing. And what is this? Oh, we can sell stuff. I don't think I want to sell stuff. I mean, I guess at this point, I think it's unlikely that we'll get more junk. So maybe I should just drop these. I'm gonna try that. Oh. See how much they sell for. Three. Fine. Let's sell them. Might be better to save them in case you get the the junk dude. Watch me get him now. So I was thinking this. For these, we can try doing like this kind of thing where I stand here just to check if there is a secret path. We roll back and then roll forward again and see if it like keeps me from falling off. Which it does. Oh, oh! I see. But now what? It's probably not just like a straight line, is it? Oh, okay, you can kind of see like for a split second. Oh no. Before you fall off, but oh no. There. That's the edge. But where do we go now? Up or down? I don't know. Up. No. I don't think this is worth it, man. There's... As far as I can tell, there's like no tell how you... where this is gonna go. So how do you do it otherwise? Is there like a different... Way to tell with this? I wouldn't mind knowing at this point. Like, this just seems very awful if I have to do it this way and just lose, like, five hearts. Like, what What else are you supposed to do? Oh, shit! That's amazing! Why is it here now? It was up here before. Okay, well that that's just like extremely convenient, but that wouldn't work like every way uh, every time. Oh, fucking fantastic. Oh, it resets every time you fall. I see. Oh, that is really inconvenient. Oh yeah, like if you don't have this water gun. Okay, but now I'm not going to make it until I can give that, but at least now we like know how to do it. I can just teleport out. Did you have any hearts? Just a half. Sure, I kind of need it now. Yeah, this is not great. It's a tedious but reliable way. A gun, infinite ammo gun, using shells that are in ejected? Really? Like, normal pistol? What shells? But not the normal pistol? Wait, oh, those things. Specifically when you reload? Oh, shit. Let's just test that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this. Like, now that I've figured out one way to do it, I'm okay with other tips for it. 
So like we just reload backwards, I guess. Oh, that is so tedious, though. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, no. Yeah, that's that's not fun. Oh, boy. No, <laughs> I'm not sure I would want to do that. If that was my only option, I would probably just wait until you get a run where you can fly or have the water gun or something like that. Otherwise, it's just not really, not really worth it. And here goes the boss. Also, does anyone know, does this water gun actually uncover secret walls? Alright. Let's go. Oh, this thing. I've never, like, tried it. Oh, we can just water gun to get rid of all the fire. It does. Okay, good. Oh, no. <laughs> Bye. Thought I had my, uh... Thought I had my Molotov again. Oh, and then I just rolled into him. Oh, man. It's not good. I didn't have any blanks or anything. I actually pressed the blank button, but nope. That is so hard to dodge through. Like, I don't know what to do about that pattern. Yeah, this is another one of those bosses that I just haven't figured out at all. And that was a really good, like, way to do it with the whole uh, water gun thing. Yeah, water gun, definitely better than I expected when I first got it. But that is unfortunate. That was, like, the best convict run I've had by far. And yet, if I just hadn't lost, like, five hearts or five health from that stupid room, would have been probably been fine. So, oh well. Now we're in kind of an awkward spot where, like, Stopping now means kind of a little too much Highland Song, but not stopping now means we probably don't have time for a full run. I guess I could just do a floor or something, but I don't like doing, like, half runs. Yeah, I don't really want to do it the slow way next time we get that maze. That just sounds so miserable. I don't know if there's, like, some other gun that's better, like or expending more shells or something when you reload. Turret, duct tape. Duct tape sounds like it could be useful. Magic lamp sounds like it could be useful. Oh, nice. Guess that's a prank and somehow he just doesn't notice. I guess he doesn't like actually look. Yeah, so maybe I should buy some of these other ones like out here. Monster blood. Sounds cool. And... Silver bullets. Sure. And... M16 just sounds like it'll just be like a nice, consistent gun, similar to the, the AK. Sure. Oh, does that have a gre grenade launcher attachment as well? Maybe it's like the last bullet in the magazine shoots a grenade. And none of these people want to like talk or do anything. What did we need again for this guy? I just spent the like credits things and then he wanted like something else. What was that again? Oh, oh no. Why would you do that? I didn't even mean to. Oh no. Yeah, it's just gun that shoots liquid flight or just the slow way. I mean, I guess now add a fourth to that, the whole like dodge thing that I figured out, but not sure if that's reliable all the way. Yeah, I guess let's, uh, oh, is there anything I can buy for just four? Let's start like one more run and just do like... 
Oh, let's remind, sure. One floor or something, two floors. Yeah, that's a shame. I feel like that run was kind of free. But again, it's like, I've had how many? Two or three runs where I've gotten to that room, tried to figure it out, and because of that room, it's like 100% the reason I, I lost, which is very frustrating. I just feel like that room is a little too hard to figure out. Like, it would be nice if there was some visual tell or something based on, like, the, the spikes in the background, like the floor or something on the wall that you could, like, figure out how the path was gonna work, was gonna go. It's just, like, so highly specific that I feel like most people would just end up looking it up instead. Which I was very tempted to do as well. Or just, like I first did, just assume that all you have to do is just have flights, and that's it. No other way to do it. Yeah, most people just think flight. We've had that, haven't we? That's the one that fires, like, pistols that shoot around. It's a pretty nice one. Might pick that up. I'm guessing this just freezes people when you blink. I'm forgetting what all these do. Liquids are a thing you see a lot. Are they? I don't feel like I've had many things that do liquids. And I don't think there are any, like, liquid barrels in that stage, right? Can you just clear out the stuff? Perfect. Oh, that was quick. I just mean, like, in general, there's liquid mechanics, yeah. So you might have the thought to apply it. Whoa, that's a lot of dudes. I feel like I should have gotten the guy to blow up on them, but oh well. Why is he taking the flanking route? What are you doing, guy? Jesus, he's actually smart. No! God damn it. Sometimes the enemies just act so unpredictably, and that's when they always get you. When they're just walking towards you and shooting, it's like totally fine, but then random grenade just dive bombs like off to the side of you. Can't predict that. Secrets here. Uh, let's hold off, I guess. Wait, huh? Who? Oh, that's a uh, right. The shock dude. I thought it was like the tutorial ghost. Oh, that does not look worth it. Oh, this thing is great. 
And maybe here? No. It might be a super secret item. I mean, I'm probably going to get it now, since we have two keys. It's more beam weapons, by the way. Nothing but beam weapons. Also, this looks suspicious, like it could be a secret. No. Yeah, let's just open both. Why not? Oh, wait. How do I... Didn't I have two keys? Oh, right, I spent one here. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna open this heart. Always good. Maybe we'll get another key here. Ah, oh, damn it. I definitely don't like this guy as much as the king. I feel like the king is a lot more consistent. This guy's minigun is like so random that it's, it's so hard to like actually dodge it properly. Yeah, not a, not a huge fan of this one. Vitamins? Muscle relaxant. Loosen up. What does that mean? Greatly increases accuracy. She needs it. That's good. And no... No key. Unless I buy one. Do I want to buy one? Unless I had a little bit of this. Good. Sure, let's buy one. Why not? See, see this like plus 1000% damage secret weapon. You lied to me. You're banned now. <laughs> okay, one more floor and then I'll leave it off. Oh yeah, we can check what the elevator guy wanted. That's a good idea. What did you need this time? Strong magic from chamber one. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like that, but I guess I haven't been like on the lookout for it. My shotgun now fires like slugs. Oh yeah, yeah, because the accuracy increase. Does it have like a specific synergy? Or is it just in general? Yeah, it's just in general. It's actually decent now. I think I should probably use this one now as well, because, yeah, the accuracy is, like, kind of a problem, but now it's better. What are these? Bionic leg? Ammo synthesizer? Bionic leg sounds interesting. I kind of want to try that if we get enough. Watch that plus five be, like, what makes it the thing that gives us enough. Don't think about the fact that I bought a key to, to afford the plus five. It'll be all that plus five. Yeah, that accuracy is actually very nice. It's like a laser now. That is really nice. Muscle relaxant is a very good item. Ah, let's go down first. Average video game revolver, yeah. It's like pinpoint accuracy across all ranges.
God, this is so good. This alone might, like, save this run. Just having accuracy is, like, crazy good. Especially since so many weapons are, like, kind of balanced around not having good accuracy. This just fixes that. Not to say this is necessarily a game that's, like, balanced, so to speak. Thought he would die. Just for the sake of it, since this is like an end end room. That's one negative thing. Now I can't check for secret rooms as easily. I guess I can use this thing. That'll probably uncover them. I hope. I assume that would uncover it. Also, I, I feel like we should just do the boss now. Get my Molotov, like, working again. We're charged up. Oh, kind of missed. Whoa, what? Oh, I stepped in my fire. God damn it. Good start. Very good start. Don't do it! God damn it. How do you, like, do that? How do you prevent that? I shot him, like, as soon as I saw the thing. I was focusing solely on that dude. And yet I still didn't have enough time to kill him. I guess it was just the shotgun doesn't do much damage. I mean, it does take a while still. Oh my god. Not good at this guy either. Oh boy. Like the first couple of times I fought him, I felt like he was very easy. I guess I just got lucky. Yeah, that fight definitely seems like more luck based than others. Like where he chooses to go and what he chooses to do. If he just goes for you, it's like pretty rough. I want to use this now. Uh, let's hold off on this. I wonder how inaccurate this would be without the upgrade, because now it seems pretty okay. Kinda lengthy reload. Not the worst, but it's a bit of an issue. So I guess I should just swap to a different gun instead. Oh yeah, you can check. Kinda of forget you can just like drop stuff. It's still fairly accurate. Didn't really get affected that much. Ah, oh, got knocked away by the shockwave first. At least we can get some kind of gold character unlock. That'll be nice. Ah, uh, I'll hold off for now, but can probably open that. Oh boy, this thing. <laughs> yeah, I think like maybe after I beat beat the game with all the characters or something, I might need some sort of hint for that thing.
kind of expected a secret room there, but I guess it's too close to the elevator. This guy again? Are you like a second one of those? Hey man, thanks for letting me out again, I guess. As you can see, I got my helmet. Oh, I got my helmet back. Let's not have any more accidents, okay? Sorry about that. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll be careful. That, this again? I'm just gonna like break this. Get that chunk. All right, so there we go. Let's leave it here for now. Uh, there was nothing I want to buy, was there? Oh yeah, I did. Bionic legs, let's get those. More machine than man, just to speed up, I guess. But that's very nice. Yeah, just decent, simple. Kind of seems like a bigger speed increase than the previous thing I had that increased speed. And with synthesizer might be good too, but that might be a an active item as well. So yeah, not bad. It's an okay start to a run. Definitely the the pill is like the main thing. So if we can get some decent guns, might have something going here. But yeah, let's uh let's leave it off here for now. I'll take a break and then we'll switch over and do some a Highland song. Now I'm back to uh, having only like five games per weekend, so kind of likely that I'll do a little more Gungeon like on Sunday or something, so it's not going to be too long between. So I'm probably not going to like forget everything. We'll see. I'll probably forget everything anyway, even if I play it tomorrow, which I probably won't. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Break and Highland Song. <laughs>